Look what I got in the mail. It's a Hyperlite Mountain Gear package. <sighs> Never had one of those before. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Before we start, can you see what I've done here with the shadow? I got a Hyperlite Mountain Gear Pyramid. It's a triangle with my lights. Aren't I clever? Well, let us see what's inside. Now, this here says do not use blades to open. So I'm not going to use this blade at all. So you didn't see us. It wasn't here. This is a paper. Oh, really hope I'm not cutting something. It hurts me. It hurts me. I don't want to dodge it out the box. Ooh, here it goes. Could it be blue? It's not blue. Oh my goodness. What have you done, blue boy? You've got something that's not blue. It is, and what's it say there? Ultimid 2 Green. 1.1 pounds, 17.6 ounces, or 499 grams. Amazing. Wait a second. Put it there. What else is in this box? Blue boy. It is the same colour. Green. Ground cloth. The weights, what's the weight say? 0.21 pounds, 3.4 ounces, and 96 grams. Man, I hope it's right on those numbers. We will check it out. What else we got here? Hmm. Ah, it's a stuff, stuff sack, medium white. I forgot I ordered that. Sweet, it's gonna be my ditty bag. Excellent. Holy moly, jaloli. These are some chunky ass aluminium stakes. They're the chunkiest, meanest stakes I've ever seen. And then there's, so there are aluminium. And those ones are shepherd hook titaniums. I've never had those. I really wanted to try them. It feels like I'm about to like climb Everest with these stakes. I could use to hang off just one of them. Check those out. What else we got here? Uh, large pack pods. Oh, sweet. This is the uh, zippered pod that you're going to use as a stuff sack. Makes it easy to get into and out of. What's it say there? It says that it's a large one and it's 10 litres, 1.3 ounces, 37 grams. We'll find out. And what's this baby? Ultimate pole straps. So, to make the centre pole for that tent, you often need to strap your two dragon poles together to give, get the uh, 64 inch length that you need and then that is the pack and list with all of the gear that's in there boom and some ridiculous amount of money that I spent I got it on the Black Friday I got it on the Black Friday sale but then I paid like more than the discount I got in uh, shipping and customs duties so, yeah. so let's start with the big stuff first. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, it's all sealed up. It's not even really open. It's very, very factory. Let's do this. Let's move this over into the middle. Turn it back on. And open it up. So get rid of that. And then this is the so this is the ultimate ultimate in green. So we'll just put it straight on the scales without the tag. We'll put the tag down there so it's not taking any of the weight. Hopefully, maybe we'll just pull the tag off just in case. Boom. And a bit of plastic. Yeah. So the 
take separate. Now, what does that say? 22.08 ounces. What does this tag say it should be? 17.6 ounces. I wonder why that is. Let's see what's inside. Oh, all the guy lines. Pew, pew. I was going to have a cow then. Like, what? To an ultra lighter, an extra five ounces is like a natural disaster. So there it is now. Let's just weigh the thing without the stuff sack. Now, what does that give us? It says 18.63 ounces what's this say 17.6 so still an ounce over what's that in what's that in grams 528 let's go back to ounces let's add this stuff back on the top 19 ounces or 540.6 grams okay so i'm gonna put that up here In here, I wonder if there's any other things that are adding to the weight. Not sure. But uh, I've never had green cuban fiber before. Looks pretty nice. If there's the apex. Oh, man, that was chunky. Look. I wonder what bit that is. No idea. Looks like got a plastic ridge in there. Ridge Ditch. There's the uh, uh, there's the, the logo, and then there's the top of the zip, the top of the door. Oh look, that is glorious, beautiful. Mm, really nice stitching. Let's move the light over here. Get the light a bit closer. Yeah. Very, very nice. Anyway, we'll look at that a bit later. Here's the ground cloth. So let us take the tag off again. Boom, take all the plastics. So that one belongs to that one. Yeah. And then this one belongs to this ground cloth. Very nice, as Borat would say. So how many grams does that say it is? 107, what's that say it should be? 96. Or, oops, didn't, didn't want to tear it. So that was 107, and it should be 96, and that's 3.82, and again it should be 3.4, but maybe it's with, maybe it's without the uh, stuff sack. Not much to a ground cloth, it's the stuff sack, and then the cloth itself. So let's just try the cloth itself. 3.72 ounces. 3.4, man, still over. Or 105 grams. 96. How much does this add? The stuff sack back on. 112, so a couple more grams. 3.94. So who knows where that extra weight is? Maybe it's just margin of error, but I'm so used to Z packs numbers being bang smack on. Um, oh, everyone can't be as perfect as Z packs. And what else we got here? We have got a pod, large pack pod. So it should be 37 grams and 13, 13 ounces. Let us see. the 
smaller of the packs and a large one, so a 10 litre version. I don't have a I don't have a hyperlight mount gear pack, but I'm gonna try using it anyway. Probably fit in the packs I got. So here's the zip. Two zips. Oh, it's only one zip. There it is. Oh, nice big chunky zip. Pull tab there. That looks like it's a waterproof zip. And yeah, it works good. It's bigger than the normal zip. Whatever the bigger one is. It's number five, isn't it? And it feels chunky, chunky by in there. Looks pretty good. Did we weigh it? Let's weigh it. Oh, good golly. Should have done it first up. That'll do. 1.27 ounces. What's it supposed to be? <gasps> first one that's um, bang on or under, holy moly. Uh, and in grams, 36 grams versus 37. Wow. One out of three Hyperlite mountain gear. You're doing not too good. <laughs> what else we got here? We have a medium size white DCF stuff sack. And there's the ounce, it should be eight grams. Let's have a look. Do this on the camera. Come on. Mm. It looks nice. Oh, look at that. It's like white crystal. I didn't blow it up. I won't fit on the scale. Put it back. So, it should be 8 grams. Ah, disaster. 9. 0.3 ounces. 0.31. Oh, I'm so grumpy about 0.01 of an ounce. You're such a wuss. Woolly. Okay. Put these dudes. Mid. So here they are, big fat hunga dungum orange ones, they're like plastic, they're pretty strong, they're a little bit stretchy, and I don't know, probably just like that or something. I'm sure I'll work it out. Weird. Anyway. Ah, so how heavy are they? It says that's in. Oh golly, this is going to be hard. Oh, I won't do that. Yep. So 1.25 ounces. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't have a weight, whatever. That's how heavy they are, and which is 35.4 grams. Douche. And lastly, the chunkiest ass steaks you've ever seen. with, yep, we're in grams. Let's start with one of these big hunger dungers. 15 grams, I think that's what they're supposed to be. And six of them. So six of them together being 87.6. I'll do whatever the average is on there, but it's gonna be close to 15 or slightly under. And this is them. So they are got a big hole in them. They're made out of aluminium. They feel pretty light, but boy, you probably can hammer these in better than carbon fiber ones or 
with the uh, titanium ones, they pre feel pretty strong. I'm not sure if they're hollow or not. They feel light enough to be hollow, but I'm not sure. Don't really want to pull one apart to see. I hope they're not hollow. And then finally, these little these little darlings. Six titanium shepherd hooks. Stop wobbling. 8.6 grams. Let's try another one. Oh, can't learn, can you? 8.6, so six of them. 51 grams, whatever the average of that is, probably 8.6. So there we go, that's the unboxing of my first big Hyperlite Mountain Gear package. So just summarizing, what we got in this box, this Hyperlite Mountain Gear box, was we got one uh, Ultimid two person in spruce green, 0.8 ounce per square yard. We've got a ground tarp, flat ground tarp, like 52 inch wide, nine feet long or something. We got um, those um, guy lines to cut to length. Now the reason I also looked why this one was a bit heavier than spec was it's already got some small guy lines attached for each of the corners. This is for extra, extra guy lines for like high winds off pullouts. So that's why that one was a little bit heavier, an ounce heavier, because the guy lines are already attached. And the spec of the Ultimid being 17.6 ounces probably doesn't include the guy lines that are already pre-attached. So it's probably an ounce of guy lines already attached. So that's good to know. I'm not sure about the ground type, but I don't think there's any guy lines attached to that. Um, then the 10 litre um, pod pouch with the zipper. Um, a medium sized stuff sack. And I'll compare that medium sized stuff sack to another well used medium sized stuff sack from a tarp that I've got from a few years ago which I bought from Camp Saver, not Hyperlite themselves um, and you'll be able to compare we'll be able to compare how the Dyneema has worn it's actually quite a big difference so we got that um, we've got the straps the Plexamid straps that um, connect the two trekking poles together to um, do the centre pole for that and then we've got six titanium stakes, six chunky ass um, aluminium stakes, and we even got an invoice. Boom. So, blue boy out. Let's set it up.